Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. And on this video, I want to review the software old phone WhatsApp transfer that is going to allow me to transfer from WhatsApp Android to WhatsApp iOS. Let me show you guys. I have an Android device and I have an iPhone. So I'm going to transfer from WhatsApp Android to my iPhone. On this case, I don't have WhatsApp installed here yet, but I will install it. I'm going to transfer this chat that has a lot of pictures and messages and videos and also audio and a link. So my goal is going to be to transfer WhatsApp from the Android to WhatsApp to the iOS. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the screen settings because right now, as you can see, we have the auto lock on one minute. So we don't need that. We're just going to put never so we can keep the iPhone open all the time. And you can do the same here, right? How can you do that? Just uh, search for display right here. You're going to open it and from here, check screen timeout. And you can put 30 minutes. So in that case, we're going to keep the screen on all the time. That's what we want, you know. That's something that you can do or you cannot do. I mean, I'm doing it because of the tutorial. So I don't have to press and enter the phone all the time. But uh, if you want to do it, that's fine. But it's not a requirement, you know. So what can you do with this software, right? So let's check it out. It says directly transfer WhatsApp and WhatsApp business to new iPhone, iOS and Android. Yes, because in this video, we're going to do from Android to iOS. But you can do from iOS to Android or you can do Android to Android or iOS to iOS. So this is actually a complete backup solution for your WhatsApp. View backup and restore line, Viber, Kick, WeChat on iPhone. Support iPhone 12 series, iOS 14 and Android OS 10. This is new, okay? And also you have a Windows or a Mac version. In this case, I'm using a Mac, so I'm gonna use the Mac version, but it should be the same for the Windows. If you want me to do a video using a Windows computer, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you want me to do this video in Spanish, please let me know in the comments, all right? The other thing you should do is make sure you have the latest iOS version on your iPhone. Go to settings. Click on general, click on software update. And here you can see that we have iOS 14.6, which is really new actually. And also on the Android, you don't have to have the latest one because Android is different than the iPhone. In this case, I have Android 9, but uh, you know that there's Android 10 and I think there's Android 11 also. So I just want to tell you guys that in order to use this software, you will have to pay. This is not a free software. As we speak, May 28, 2021, there is no free software that would allow you to do this. If you know any free software, please let me know in the comments. We're going to start downloading the software. You have to go here. You're going to click. You're going to download it. You're going to install it. And we already installed it. If you buy the software, you're going to get a key and your email. So you just have to enter your email and the key. And that's how you activate the software. So I already have the software activated. If you click here on Launchpad, you're going to see all your software and it's right here boom so we have the main interface of old phone for whatsapp transfer and you can see that we can transfer whatsapp whatsapp business line kick viber or wechat in this case we're going to use the regular whatsapp so we click on WhatsApp and you can see here that we have the source and the destination. In this case, we decided to transfer WhatsApp Android to WhatsApp iOS. So this will be the source and this is the destination. The first thing you need to do is you need to connect both devices to the computer. Try to use the original cables. All right. So let's connect the source, which in this case is Android. And look what happened. Source Samsung. Now let's connect the destination. This is the iPhone SE 2020. So let's connect it. And look at that destination, iPhone SE, second gen. You can see here on the iPhone that it says trust this computer. We're gonna click trust. I have this really important message on the Android device. It says, attention, the connected device is unable to access data on this device. Reconnect to USB cable and try again. Android file transfer or Samsung smart switch must be installed on Mac OS 10 devices. To download Android file transfer, go to android.com file transfer. Or if you want to download Samsung smart switch, go to samsung.com smart switch. So how can you see in this? You're seeing this because the Macs, they cannot read the Androids natively. So you need a special software in order to access data on the Android. In this case, it already recognized it, right? Yes. Okay. So let's forget about that message for now. Let's see if we have any problems. All right. Okay, guys. So we have both devices connected and we're going to start the transfer right now. We're going to click here, transfer. Let's see what happened. Please follow the steps below to enable USB debugging on Samsung to continue. Depending on the phone you have, you're going to see a message here and you're going to follow the steps. But basically enabling USB debugging is pretty simple. You need to go to settings. You're going to scroll down. You're going to find about the phone. And from here, you're going to select software information. 
Once you're here, look for build number. Once you find build number, you're gonna tap several times until you see the developer mode enable. Okay, so let's do that. You see, developer mode has been turned on. Okay, so when you go back, you have to go back to settings and scroll down all the way and you're gonna see developer options. You click on developer options and you're gonna look for USB debugging. USB debugging and you're gonna turn it on. Allow USB debugging, okay. And look at this, allow USB debugging, allow from this computer. Click on allow from this computer and click OK. And look at this message, no WhatsApp detected on iPhone SE. Remember I told you I didn't download it. So in order to download it, you need to log into your iCloud account first. And then you're going to go to your App Store and you're going to look for WhatsApp, right? You're going to look for WhatsApp and you're going to download WhatsApp Messenger. Once we finish downloading, this message is going to disappear, I'm sure. We're gonna open it and look at this. So let's keep it like that for now. So let's click OK. And again, we have this message. Attention, the connected device is unable to access data. Okay, let's see if we can still do it. We're gonna click transfer. And look at this. WhatsApp data on iPhone will be overwritten. Are you sure you want to continue? You can back up your WhatsApp data on iPhone to computer first. Let's say you're using WhatsApp here with another number or I don't know. You have WhatsApp and you have chat. What you need to do is if you want to preserve this just in case, do a backup in WhatsApp and also on iCloud. So you have a backup of both. In this case, we don't have any information here because again, we wanted to move everything from here to here. Okay, so let's just click continue. We are not gonna click backup. We're just gonna click continue. Okay, look at this. Backup WhatsApp data in the source device. The source device is the Android phone, okay? and they show us how to do it. So in order to do a backup on the source device, what we're gonna do is we need to click on these three dots on the top. From here, we're gonna click settings, and then we're gonna click on chats, and then on chat backup. Okay, you need to scroll here to see all the messages, that's fine. After that, we need to make sure that backup to Google Drive, it's selected never. Okay, backup to Google Drive, never. And then we're gonna do the backup, all right? Boom. Okay, at 6, 5 p.m., we did the backup, and accordingly to the software, we're gonna uh, continue. I mean, we already created the backup on the source. We're gonna click continue, and look at this. Getting WhatsApp data from the source. And it says, please do not disconnect your device while transferring. It might take a long time when there is too much data. Please wait patiently. It says, verify WhatsApp backup account. For data security, you must verify the WhatsApp account you use when creating the backup before generating the restore data. So they're gonna ask us the number, the WhatsApp number that is here. In case you don't know your phone number, you're gonna go here, just click on settings, about the phone. And here you're gonna find the number, guys. Look at this. So you're gonna put this number, 954-716-1812. That's the phone number attached to this WhatsApp. I'm going to click verify. If your number has enabled two-step verification on WhatsApp, please disable two-step verification before continue. Okay, and if you click here, it's going to show you how to disable the two-step verification in WhatsApp. Basically, go back to WhatsApp and you're going to click the three dots, settings, account, and look at this, two-step verification. Make sure it's disabled. Okay, right now it's disabled because the enable button is green. So we are good on that. We'll go back to our software and we're gonna click continue. Look at this. WhatsApp may send a text message with a WhatsApp verification code to the number. Please make sure the phone number is correct before proceeding. Very important guys, because if you put a, a number that is not the one, you're never gonna get the text. So it's never gonna work. Make sure the phone number is the correct one. And look at the note. WhatsApp may log out on the device during verifying account. Please do not log in again on the device until the verification is complete. Okay, so we're gonna click continue and they send a verification code right there. Look at that guys, the verification code. The verification code actually is 621-319. Look at this. It says log out of WhatsApp. So as the message said, you might be log out, but you know, leave it there. Don't do anything. Logging into WhatsApp on the target device. Please make sure you are logged in WhatsApp on the target device before restoring. 
Otherwise, the restore data will not be visible even if the restoration is successful. You also need to ensure that there is enough free space, about 44.4 megabytes on the target device. This is important guys, because let's say you have an Android device with, I don't know, 128 gigabytes and you have an iPhone of 16 gigs. If you have a lot of data on your Android, it's not gonna pass to the iPhone because the iPhone is only 16 and you have 128 here. So that's why here is gonna tell you the amount of space you need. In this case, I have a little thing because I was just testing this, but you might have gigs of data, all right? Now, it says login WhatsApp on the target device. This is the target device, guys. So we're gonna log in here. Agree and continue. So now they're gonna ask me for the phone number again. And what phone number I'm gonna put? The same phone number that I have here. Why? Because I'm moving from this WhatsApp to this WhatsApp. I need to keep the same phone number, guys, you know? The number I'm gonna put here is the same number here. Okay, 954-716-1818. I'm gonna click done. It says retrieving credentials, number confirmation. If your phone number about correct, I'm gonna put yes. Now it's gonna verify WhatsApp. It's gonna send a text. We have sent you a SMS with a code to the number above. And here it is, guys. So make sure you find the code and you're gonna put it here. In this case, the code is 693-960. It says validating code. You're not connected to iCloud, but you might have your WhatsApp chats back up to iCloud. Please use iCloud Drive to on in iPhone settings iCloud. Since I'm already logged into this destination, I'm just gonna click log in here. And it's now it's gonna do restoring data. Look at this. It was restoring data right there. It says transfer successfully. WhatsApp data has been transferred from Samsung SM810 to you to iPhone successfully. If it's possible, please share it with more people. So this is what's happening on the iPhone right now. Supposedly, the transfer was successful. So we're gonna check that right now. like to access your contacts, I'm gonna click yes. I'm gonna put Alex here. And this is the, the chat that we have on the other WhatsApp, right? You click here, you can see all the history, the chat history is the pictures, the videos, hey guys, how you doing? the audio, the link, everything transfer, guys. Look at this, all these pictures. And I have videos here. So the transfer was successful, guys. You can just rename this contact, you know? You can just uh, create a new contact and, and, you know, put whatever you need to put, all right? Save it. So now it's gonna be, so now it's, that's it. You just need to click on it and save it. But the transfer was 100% successful. So that's how you use this software to transfer your WhatsApp from Android to iOS. And again, the only way you can do it is with pay software. Another thing I have to tell you is, if you notice, I didn't move my SIM because I got the confirmation number here and I put it here. But of course, the next step is to move your SIM card here because you're gonna start using iPhone instead of Android. That's why you want it to transfer, right? So guys, I know it's not that easy, but if you have any question, please let me know. Okay guys, so I want to tell you about this. Look at this. There's the old phone anniversary celebration. It's gonna be from May 17th to June 6th, so you still have time. You can win free software, you know, you can check it out here, you know, discounts, and this is the thing, you know, you can get all this stuff. So please check it out, guys. I'm gonna put a link in the description of the stuff that you can win on this special event, okay? I'm gonna also put a link in the description if you want to download this software. Probably I'm gonna give you a discount, please check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.